Don't know your vented from your condenser, your timer from your sensor? Well, worry not, because for the next few minutes, I'm gonna take you through all things tumble dryer. Hiya, Bryn here. So all tumble dryers essentially work in the same way. Air is drawn into the dryer, heated, and then passed through a rotating drum that's filled with your clothes. This warm, moist air then needs to leave the machine, and it's this extraction process that's the key difference between the different types of tumble dryer. In the UK, there are essentially four different types of electric tumble dryer, the most common being something like this, the vented dryer. Now, as the name implies, the warm, moist air is vented out of the machine via a hose like this one, through a hole in the wall or an open window. Now, vented dryers tend to be inexpensive to buy, have quick drying times, and a fairly good energy rating. However, they are the least convenient to install as they need to be positioned near a wall vent or a window, and quite simply, you might not be able to put one of these in your home. No such concerns, though, for a condenser dryer. Now, these dryers work by condensing the excess moisture into water, which is collected in a reservoir, which you need to regularly empty. Some condenser dryers, like this model, have an optional hose attachment, which you can connect to the waste water pipe, so you don't need to empty the reservoir. And with no need for a vent, these can be placed practically anywhere in your home. However, they do tend to use more energy to run than the equivalent vented dryer. If energy efficiency and the cost of running is of number one importance to you, then the new kid on the block, the heat pump dryer, is the clear winner. It's essentially a condenser dryer with an added heat pump, which reheats the circulating air, drastically reducing the running costs compared with other dryers. As you can see, this one has an A plus rating. However, this energy efficiency usually comes with an upfront cost, as these high-end models tend to be the most expensive tumble dryers to buy. You can save even more space with a washer dryer. These tend to be very popular in UK homes due to the amount of space saved by combining two appliances into one. Now, these are a great option if you're short on space, but this space saving comes at the cost of reduced load capacity. Washer dryers have a smaller capacity than dedicated dryers. They also have a smaller recommended load for drying than they do for washing, which means you may not be able to dry all your newly washed clothes in one go. So we've covered the main types of dryer, but what are some other features to look out for? Well, as mentioned, drum size is an important factor. Dedicated dryers usually have a capacity of somewhere between three and nine kilos. Larger dryers tend to be more energy efficient, but only if you have enough clothes to fill your machine as instructed every time you dry. Something else to consider when purchasing a dryer is how the machine handles the length of the drying process. Basic machines will simply have a timer, which you set, and when it's finished, the machine stops. More advanced models will have sensors that can detect when your clothes are dry. These sensor settings can be adjusted so you can control how dry dry is. These will often be labelled as cupboard, hanger or iron dry. Drying with sensors is also the most efficient way of drying your clothes as as soon as your clothes are dry, the machine stops. With a timer, it just keeps on going until the time runs out. Most modern dryers will have reverse tumble. This means the drum will rotate in both directions, not just one, which dries your clothes quicker and helps to reduce creasing. Speaking of creasing, anti-crease or crease care, or in the case of this machine, extra care, is a clever feature that keeps the drum moving every now and then once the dryer has finished to stop those annoying creases from forming. Lastly, it's worth mentioning energy efficiency again. All appliances should have their energy rating clearly labelled. Buying an appliance with a better rating may cost you more up front, but they're better for the planet and are cheaper to run. And remember, the best way to save drying time and save money is to spin your clothes at the highest suitable speed so they need less drying in the first place. So there you go, everything you need to know about dryers. For help and advice on anything tumble dryer related, visit hotpointservice.co.uk.